in the previous tutorial we have learned how to create this object now in this tutorial we will learn how to give dimensions to this object at first we will create one new layer for dimension click on new we will give dim name to it we will choose other color ok and we want line type to be continuous click on the center select continuous ok close this dialog box make dimension layer current at first we will give these two dimension we will use annotative dimension style to change the dimension style click on annotation click here and select annotate click here and select aligned select first point second point location again enter select this point and this point and location then increase the annotative scale click here and increase the scale I will take this 1 as to 16 then I will make some dimension setting to remove these extra decimal points and other settings also give D for dimension style enter click on modify then in fit select this draw dim line between extension lines click on text click here and select above click on ISO standard click on primary unit select single zero click on ok click on close now it is properly visible then we will need to align these dimensions now in isometric this line is at 30 degree, this line is at 90 degree and this line is at 150 degree. So using these angles we will have to align these dimensions. To align this dimension click on annotate, click on dimension and select oblique option. Then select this dimension, enter, then give the oblique angle. Now I want to align this line with this vertical line. The angle of this vertical line is 90 degree. Give 90, enter. Same way to align this, click on dimension, oblique, select this dimension, enter. Now this dimension needs to be aligned with this line. The angle of this line is 150 degree. Give the angle of 150, enter. The next is this four dimension. Click here and select aligned and give the dimension. Select this point, drag this point, we will make plane to top, so plane top, and then drag this point, drag this midpoint, take your cursor here, click there, take your cursor above and click there. Then again enter, take this point, second point, take this point. Again enter this point then track this midpoint take your cursor above and click at this intersection and click here then 40 again enter click here then track this point click here and take it outside and click there then we need to align this for that again click on dimension oblique now angle for this three dimension will be same therefore we can select all these three dimension enter now we want to align these dimensions with this line the angle of this line is 30 degree give the angle of 30 enter and again dimensions oblique select this 40 enter now I need to align this 40 with this line angle of this line is 150 give 150 enter And next group is this one. Again, click on aligned, select this point, then select this midpoint, take the cursor away, click there, then enter, select this point, this point, take your cursor inside and click, enter this point, this point, click again enter this point 
this point click now these three dimensions are in same angle the angle will be 30 degree click on dimensions oblique select all the three dimensions and in fact for this also angle will be 30 select this also enter give the oblique angle of 30 enter this dimension is placed properly and if you want to adjust the dimension you can click on it click on the grip and take your cursor where you want the dimension to appear and click this way you can adjust the dimension escape the next will be this dimension of 90 now for align dimension the two points for which we are giving the dimension needs to be in one line Therefore, we will need to create this line and this short line. Suppose from this point, we will come up by the distance of 10. And we have seen that this distance is 24. This distance is 32. That is 56 minus this 24. 32 plus 10, that means it will be 42. So here we will create one line of 10 and here we will create one line of 42. So that they will come in same line. Take the line command, click on home, take the center layer current, click on line, take the right plane, click here and select the right plane. Click here, give the direction, give the height of 10, enter, enter. Then we can join this line so that it will show in center format. Click on modify, join, select both the line, enter. Now what happened here? After I given the region command, now these center lines are not looking like center line. They are looking like a continuous line. Now this happened because we are using annotative dimension style therefore annotation scale is applied on the center line also. So what we will have to do we will have to reduce the line type scale for that give LTS command enter suppose we will give line type scale of 0.2 enter now it is looking properly. Then we will create this vertical line of 10 here give the line command click here now we want to go up from here change the plane to right. Take your cursor above, or the start point is not correct. Give the line command from this point, take above, give the length of 10, enter. You can create line or you can increase the length of this line. Click on this line, click on this grip, take your cursor above, and give the height of 42, enter, escape. Then give the dimension, make dimension layer current. Click here and select a line, give first point, second point, take your cursor above and click. Then align this dimension, click on annotate, click on dimension, click on oblique. Select this dimension, enter. Now we want this dimension to be vertical, give the angle of 90, enter. Your dimension has been given properly. That's all. Thanks for watching. We will stop here.